Today I want to tell you all about four statues that you find here in the beautiful Cathedral of St. John Berkman's. You really only get to see the statues when you're exiting the church. This one is a very beautiful one, St. Anthony of Padua. Whenever you see an image like this, a child Jesus, and the book, as in the Gospels, you know it's St. Anthony of Padua. He was a Franciscan. He's actually from Lisbon, Portugal, died in Padua. And uh, we call upon St. Anthony whenever we have lost items and all. And his feast day is June 13th. But let's take a look at a couple of more of our beautiful statues. I have to say, this is the, the one that most people ask me about because they have no clue who it is. It's actually St. Alphonsus Rodriguez. His feast day is on October 31st. St. Alphonsus was canonized with St. John Berkman's on January 15th, 1888. I think that that's part of the reason why he happens to be here, a Jesuit saint as well. He did a lot of writing. He's from Mallorca. He died there, never became a priest. He was a porter at the seminary. And of course, we have another Jesuit saint here, St. Francis Xavier. He's almost always depicted with the surplice and, and a cassock and the, the stole in which you would wear when you baptize. He's known to have baptized thousands of people. He was the number one missionary for the Jesuits, and he's always depicted with a crucifix as well. In fact, we have a nice stained glass window of him here in the baptistry. But there's the fourth statue I want you to see, another very beautiful one that you really only get to see when you're walking out, as I just mentioned a moment ago. This one, beautiful, it's entitled, Gesù Salvatore, Gesù Salvatore, Jesus our Savior. Here he is, standing here with what is to represent the world, the earth, and next to the cross. He's much bigger than the cross, and then that's very intentional. The cross could not contain the Savior of the world, but he is our Savior, given as a gift by our Italian society um, about 75 years ago, actually, right now. So we have four beautiful statues, and I hope that when you leave the church, each and every time, Take a moment, stop, look, especially if you have kids or some visitors, let them know what it is, and don't forget to pray through the intercession of the saints.